Hi everybody, here with a, a quick update for the master's class. Um, sorry that I'm that I'm producing so many videos on, on the cryptocurrencies, but it, it's just amazing how the charts uh, follow follow charting analysis. It's so uh, crystal clear that it's uh, that it's pretty uh, pretty amazing. Um, well, with with a pattern that has formed here, that's a four hour. It's not a very it's not a plain vanilla typical S1, but it, it is for me. It goes for an S1 here on the four hour no, on the uh, on the on the sixty minute chart, an S1 short. So it's basically uh, you align it here. It doesn't have clear like three touches. So it's basically one touch, and this this counts basically as one touch. And then well, we've got another touch here, right? Or this one. Well, well, for me it goes uh, for uh, like an, an analyzing crypto charts. I'm more um, yeah, I'm more. Uh, I'm more discretionary. So if this is an S1 short, we can nicely see here how the 21 was uh, uh, was touched, and this is the momentum move. Well, then this is the momentum move, right? <coughs> and here's the pattern. Well, it should go. Uh, it should go much lower. And this is uh, well. This is what I was um, yeah, um, thinking would happen. Um, well, this was a little bit of a, of a warning sign that that this actually might be um, yeah, at bottom. Uh, because this is a rejection bar at a very important level of the chart, right? But we've got this uh, th this bottom wicks, which means that there's some buying pressure. Uh, there are some big big guys that are buying here, right? They have bought a big chunk at this big sell-off. Well, some people were coming in, some buyers, and, and, and buying up the volume. Same here, buying up the volume, buying up the volume. And this one broke this wick uh, low. Uh, just slightly, so there was some buying up, and this might be institutional investors. But it, 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 it doesn't mean that they're, they're going to be right. Okay, it just means that there's some some buying, institutional investors, I think. And uh, but with a with a pattern that has formed, I think we're going to see new lows. Well, that's a huge level, right? I mean, whenever you get long wicks, that's a great stop run level. Well, here we've got a huge, uh, I mean, an immensely big uh, wick that clusters with another big wick. So this level is just a, a, a great stop run level uh, to the downside. Uh, and with this uh, pattern coming in, this is the momentum move, right? And this is the pattern. Well, the, the target for this pattern brings us well, uh, well below this, this whole consolidation, below these wicks, this stop run level. It's a, it's a huge one. So I'm actually foreseeing that we're going to see um, a new lows. I don't care. Uh, well, I would I actually prefer to see new lows because I want to see a washout. Um, I mean, that was a washout, right? We've got another washout here, but that's smaller than this one. I would actually like to see another big one like this that brings us down into the target area. Uh, that would be the uh, ideal situation. And then we actually get a swell here on the monthly, or we get a touch of 21, right? As you know, a touch of 21, that's a decent pullback. We haven't pulled back decently uh, yet on the monthly chart. So this is something I'm looking for. So we could actually get to the 200, uh, well, the 16,000, that's pretty low, but the 16,000, well, let's see, well, that's that's really low, let's see, so that that's around here. So that would go well beyond the 21. Um, we might not get there. So uh, the, the 21 is a 26, so 26 is basically, is here, well, that that's, that's a moment, so if that's the measured move and this is a consolidation, well, this should bring us around 24. And uh, just remember, we had this um, uh, this 2070 high at 20,000, right? So we might actually get somewhere between 20. We might see a wick down to this level, um, an exhaustion move um, between. So my best guess is between 20 uh, and, and 24. So that's the target area. If there's a, a real uh, panic, and that's the measured move from this one, this is a consolidation down here. So if you get a real big panic, well, we might actually go and, and touch um, uh, the 200 <coughs> at 16, let's say 17,000, and 17,000, right? So that goes well. So if it goes to 17,000, we'll actually see a selling panic. And um, and that might be good. Um, let's see, seven, uh, yeah, six, 16. Would, well, it, it would come back to the 50 moving average. And price has come back to the 50 here. Uh, it has tested the 50 here with the corona spike. And we might see another test. So the, um, the recent price history on a chart uh, tells you a lot what the chart might do uh, next. And we might actually see another test of the, uh, of the 50. So between 16, and that's the target area, right? So between 15 uh, and, and 24. 
um, and I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking at that chart basically as well. What works amazingly well here is, is these uh, diagonal lines, right? I haven't changed uh, the, the line. So it just came back here and played around this pattern, like falling below, going above, another drop to, the, to this level. So now another, right, it, it's above the level, so now it's another test of the level. So these, these levels it just works, it, typically it doesn't work that well, diagonal lines. But with crypto charts, I mean, everything works well <coughs> uh, as far as charting analysis is, is concerned. And uh, well, just have a, so that's my big, big alarm here, um, alarm level. If that breaks and we see a spike below, well, I might actually be happy to, uh, to, buy, um, to buy a big, um, yeah, a big red bar, a black bar, um, and, and get in uh, with the first uh, Bitcoin uh, position. I'm actually thinking that because the altcoins have immensely lost in value. Just let, let's just look at this one, for example. So that's uh, that's Yota. It went from 250 to 07. I mean, that's it, it, it has lost like 80% of its value uh, in a short time. So all those um, all those altcoins have lost immensely. Well, they have won a lot, and now they're they're losing a lot. So um, yeah, sentiment is a, kind of a bit um, disturbed and destroyed for the altcoins. And as well, let's have a look at, at the other macro coins. <coughs> Ethereum it went from 4,400, so it, it went down 60 percent. A, a Litecoin it went from uh, 400 to 150. Well, it's, it's another 75 percent reduction. And Bitcoin Cash even more, right? It went from one six to 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 four hundred. I mean, that's well, that's another seventy five percent drop. So um, there's a lot of uh, sentiment, bullish sentiment destroyed. And uh, um, I want to get into Bitcoin first uh, and see uh, and see how the altcoins uh, react once Bitcoin starts to uh, increase as well. Um, we will see. We might see that the altcoins are lagging. So then my focus will actually be a, a Bitcoin, and then we might actually see the, the macro coins uh, catch up, like Ethereum, Litecoin, and then in a third wave, we might see the altcoins come back again. That's it. Thank you.